Hi, <laughs> it's me, Natasha. Thanks for coming to my channel. <laughs> Sugar! So guess what we're waiting for? That is right. Ah, people, part two, or Saram, Saram, part two. And I got my shuki. <laughs> I got my shuki with me. Oh my gosh. Ah, I love this. He's so big. I'm actually curious as to like what the sound is going to be. If it's going to be any, if it's going to sound anything like Saram, the first one, or if it's going to be totally different. Of course, you know, I'm curious to see what what the lyrics are going to be, but I am very, very excited for this MV, which will be coming up any minute now. So let's get to it. Enough talking for me. Let's go. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? Look at those hands. Are you? Are you started? That's part of my song. I mean, the line is. Such a different vibe. Another dog? He loves having dogs in his video. So good. Oh, Yungi, when you sing. Oh, got his grippers. <laughs> Studio. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Wait. Well, some of the Chandra wish to be a good 
너처럼 들린다 라는 이야기를 많이 들었거든요 사실이기도 하고요 그때 당시에 코로나로 여러 가지 것들을 할수 없을 때 It's so funny 어, 굉장히 모든 것을 어. 잃어버렸다 라고 생각을 했을 때 썼던 곡이기 때문에 나 자신한테 되게 애리고 싶었던 이야기였습니다 Oh my gosh Holy crap, that's crazy. Okay, so wow, that is a totally different vibe. Before I, I'm gonna listen to it again because I, I want to catch more of the lyrics. Um, but it is such, it's so weird in, in the post MV part, how he's talking about how you know he wrote the song during COVID. And it's interesting because, and I say it's so funny when I was li- listening to that, only because all their their individual emotions, um, they write in the songs, in these songs that they're just now releasing. But during COVID, they knew how important it was to, as a group, um, to not convey those feelings right away, but yet show um a song of you know a an uplifting song so that's why dynamite came out that's why butter came out and and permission to dance too um all those songs were like you know supposed to be uplifting during that time of covid but yet they had these other songs in in their heads at the same time conveying some of you know their their other feelings during that time like like everybody else and to see that now being released it's actually kind of like it's it's like almost great timing timing for this stuff you know because you know to see that and and be aware of it and be and know that you know they were still feeling the same way that we were you know they were there was still you know times when they didn't know what was going on what it was going to happen to them i mean you know even i was unemployed for a couple months uh during covid uh and so it was like you know a, a time of uncertainty and and so like to see that they were feeling that way too you know even though they gave us those uplifting songs but now that we can we're we can move past that um you know we're on to moving past that that um we can now listen to how they were feeling and you know, kind of like connect with them in that way as well. And it's kind of like either it's, I'm not, I don't want to say refreshing, but communal (laughs) in a way. Um, And I just, I love the vibe of this song. I don't know if Suga's done this type of rapping before. Um, It's so hard for me to remember. Um, on any of the of his mixtapes whether or not he rap in that kind of like the soft rap um, for you know the kind of R, R&B type rap I guess that this song is kind of lame and with IU in it, it is it is so cool to, to see anyway let us let's get back to it I want to actually listen to the song again because it was really good look at his hands such strong hands that's so wasn't loved enough as a kid that's why i'm the cautious type and almost i mean i it's weird because like i feel like I wonder how, if if this is actually like how he felt when he was a kid. Maybe um, I know that he's he's had times, probably real times, with his parents and stuff like that. 
like we've all had. Um, so it's interesting to see that, that he's saying that. I'm not sure if, you know, if that's really how he felt. <laughs> I love, I love that he's going back to this so far away. Isn't that from, is that from, uh, um, is that his other song? My goodness, I can't even remember. I'm so bad. Okay, no wonder I was getting confused. So yeah, it was actually from his mixtape, So Far Away. So he's going back to So Far Away, his his uh, his song, which which featured Suran, who also has a lovely voice. <laughs> He sounds so good here. Sugar singing is so good. And he does not, the rap, none of the rappers really, maybe except for J Hope. Well, I don't know. Even, even J-Hope doesn't say much about it, but they totally seem to not give themselves enough credit for their singing talent because, uh, yeah, they can rap like nothing else, but their singing, they, they have such good voices too. Right here is proof of that. Oh my gosh, he sounds so good. And he looks so good. This is his place, I swear. Wait, wait, what? What? He talks about. He talks about the sandcastle. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I got a little technical difficulty. So we're the ones who tore down the castle. Wait. What is it? Really, it's a dread that's so daunting. I dreamt of a future together. So sad. It's interesting how that whole line, except for the word loser, is in Korean. And they use the word loser in English. I wonder if that, if it's to emphasize the word loser, because obviously you can like, it stands out when you're, when you're singing in one language and all of a sudden you make one word into a different, in a different language, you say it in a different language, it kind of stands out, but it's interesting. Maybe he's just reflecting on different people's lives. Cause I'm like, it's, I, I'm not sure like if. If he's conveying anything specifically about his life, because here it's so weird because it just reminds me of Tear for some reason. See, that dreamt of a future together is no more. That kind of reminds me of like some lines in, in Tear, doesn't it? It's like, but you're not there. That's not BTS. I mean, you guys are still together. So I'm now I'm just wondering, like, is it, if he's just. Talking about people in general. <laughs> Both love and people are selfish. Yes, love can be displayed as selfish. Conveyed as selfish. Look at him. Oh, sugar. Look at that. Oh, I swear. I don't know why. It seems like his features are more delicate than ever. And he's like 30. And it just looks like so much more softer. He does not look 30. Anyway, 
um, I wonder if this place is where he lives. Because, like, this whole, like, the whole studio, like, the home studio, it looks like something that he would have in his house. And then he has this, his studio. Is this his studio? It looks even darker than usual, though. Sle selflessness can actually be selfish, too. It's true. I'm just wondering, like, if, if he means that in a way to where, like, selflessness, the act, is so that you can feel that, that gratitude from other people for your selflessness. So that's your act of, that's being selfish because you want that, that acknowledgement or that, yeah, that gratitude from other people for being selfless. Ah! Duh. Selflessness can actually be selfish too. Selfish too. It's actually my greed when I say that it's all for you because it makes me happy. And that's what I want. Right? Will I be happy if I give up my greed? So you're actually needing that happiness from that greed of happiness from being selfless? from giving to other people because making them happy makes you happy type of thing that sugar likes to do for the guys sometimes and he's like whatever you know if it makes you happy it makes me happy yeah. you're already more than enough to be loved Yes, you are. It starts with Ayu and, and it ends with Ayu. <laughs> um, but that's so cool that that Ayu is, you know, contributed to this to this song. I love the vibe of the song. I really do. It makes me wonder though how the rest of the album is, um, or is it, or if every song is going to be different. Like you know, like Jimin's album, the two, you know, his two feature songs. Set Me Free Part 2 and then Like Crazy are completely different. So it could be the same for Suga's album, which wouldn't surprise me at all, really, considering his love of music and and uh, and everything, just like RM. Like, they, they, they love all different kinds of types of genres. Um, so that's cool. Of course, Suga looked amazing in this. Uh, using a lot of the soft uh, lighting filter. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary because really, sugar looks good no matter what. I like this this aesthetic here. Uh, that'd be cool if that was actually his place, his place, and that's his setup at home. That's amazing. I love that. I love he has like at least three keyboards, uh, and then. Of course, his setup. That's crazy. It's such a mellow song. It makes me want to um, hear. And now that August D's stuff is on Spotify. See, it's de definitely different. So it's not a continue. It doesn't continue off in the same vibe or the same melody or anything that people does but people is such a good song too i don't know if i missed any other um any other nods that he gave to any other songs it seems like he did several because i i'm like i felt like he he put a nod there for not i mean obviously people because people is is uh the first song and this is people part two and then he put in um for his other song so far away but then that whole you know that whole thing with tear like i said i'm wondering if there's any other songs that that he kind of put nods to and i couldn't catch him i think that's a that's it i <laughs> i'm gonna be listening to this song again for sure but if you guys have your thoughts on it you want to talk about them 
please go ahead and do so in the comments below. Uh, other than that, I think that's it for us, for us today. <laughs> um, I am excited to listen to the rest of the album. Um, comes out, what, next week or something? Um, but yeah, we got a lot of music to listen to these days and a lot of content to go through. So that's it. All right. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And don't forget to be a good human. Bye.